Abdullah Latif and I am from Pakistan uh, working at the National TB Control Program and Mercy Corps is a partner of National TB Control Program and uh, we are using DHS2 Tracker in TB Control Program. Uh, what is happening that Pakistan is one of the high burden TB countries and uh, uh, there are a lot, a lot of patients who are getting treated every year. Uh, so uh, what we are we are using DHS2 basically to get the notification of TB patients from the field and uh, uh, provide this to uh, the national program so that they can uh, make a policy decision in the real time and uh, according to the uh, program requirement. It helped a lot. So we were using a paper-based system for almost two decades uh, and uh, usually the compiling the information coming in from the field used to take a lot of time, up to four to five months. Now with the DHS2 tracker rolled out uh, in Pakistan, uh, this information is available in real time. Uh, and, uh, and the information is available uh, to the program for the effective policy making and decision making uh, at, uh, in, in the real time. Weekly analysis are available, monthly analysis are available and quarterly analysis are available. So it has changed a lot uh, the way we are dealing uh, TB program uh, in the past. It has changed a lot now with the use of DHS2. Pakistan has a, has a big population. Uh, and uh, the resources are very much limited. So uh, this data which is coming in from the field is actually guiding us where to go and where to expand our services, where to concentrate more, where to direct the resources to the areas where, are, where the, it is much needed. Uh, we want to actually uh, uh, make all the decision data driven uh, and uh, we are not there yet because uh, uh, it's, it's new in Pakistan, the system has recently been rolled out. Uh, a lot of data is coming in but our healthcare staff uh, is not much trained on these systems. Uh, and uh, they are not trained on using the data for their decision making uh, in a real time manner. So we are much focusing now on uh, building their capacities to use the data, uh, make the uh, decisions uh, according to the data, data driven de decisions uh, and uh, to improve the quality of services uh, uh, using the data. So our main focus is now on use of data now that the data is available through the DHS2 systems. With the support of DHS2 and the real time data coming in, we are actually uh, helping the program uh, to go to the communities which are very much uh, needing these resources and getting screened in the real time uh, in an efficient manner and uh, get diagnosed uh, early. So that's how uh, this is helping us.